Welcome back. Having strong bones is so important to your overall health. And here to talk about osteoporosis and how to combat it is nutritionist Jen Avis. Good, Good to be here. You know, since this is, you know, Healthy Aging Month, I thought it's only good to address that. And one of the things we were talking about before that is that, you know, you see four times more osteoporosis cases with women, but men also can get osteoporosis. And there are probably two million men that are diagnosed with osteoporosis in the United States. And... 12 million, they feel like, are walking around with osteoporosis and don't know they have wow. it. And so there are two minerals from a nutritional standpoint that are important, and of course it's calcium and vitamin D. And calcium, you can get from your diet, you know, it's the most abundant mineral in our body. But calcium you get from your diet, of course you get it in fortified in, in uh, different products, like we were talking about coconut milk, almond milk, soy milk, you know, all of the alternative Oat milks milk. to dairy. It's naturally in dairy. You also get it from dark green leafy vegetables. But then you need vitamin D to absorb the calcium that you can get from sunshine, 15 minutes a day where you get exposure. Or we fortify milk with vitamin D, we fortify bread with vitamin D. You can get it from fatty fish. And an unlikely source, mushrooms. Nice. You, get, you get vitamin D. They already you, have so many good healthy properties anyway. Oh, absolutely. So these are all good things. If you don't get these things in your diet, then you need a supplement. You know, and, and when you look for one, don't get calcium carbonate. It's the poorest as far as being absorbed well. You want to get calcium citrate. And you need about 1,200 milligrams of calcium if you're over the age of 50. You need at least 1,000 IUs of vitamin D. And you need the two together. And if you take a supplement, you need to take that with a meal because the vitamin D is fat soluble and needs a little bit of fat for the best absorption. Now let's talk about the why behind the different um, uh, men and women being diagnosed. With women, it can be caused after, after menopause. Exactly, and usually with men, there are things that cause it, such as low testosterone, uh, you know, Parkinson's, you might be taking medications, men or women, steroids that tend to cause the calcium to be depleted. Uh, vitamin D, if you're overweight, your body doesn't make vitamin D like it should, so you may need a little bit more of that. Uh, and actually, when it comes to your bones, weight-bearing, mm -hmm. you know, walking, doing things where you're up and, and moving, so activity is important. So important to be active. Thank you so much for ways we can combat osteoporosis, and actually starting now is not a bad idea. No, even at a young age. Thanks so much. And this information is going to be on our website, kandaway.com, after the show.